Hi, I'm Cheryl Brunette, and today I'm going to answer a question from a viewer. Does garter stitch take more yarn than stockinette? And the answer is... The answer to the question, does garter stitch take more yarn than stockinette, is a qualified yes. Given the same yarn and the same needles and the same knitter, yes, it is very likely that a square foot of knitted garter stitch will have more yarn in it than a square foot of stockinette. Now let's look why that is true. This, these are the parts of one of those little gnome fellows. Here's his torso, here are his legs. This will become his head. This is his little hat and these are his arms. This arm is done in garter stitch. It is eight stitches wide by 10 stitches tall. The hat is done in stockinette stitch and I have marked out for you eight stitches wide by 10 stitches tall. Notice what happens if I lay this on here. The width is about the same, but I have a, at least another oh, four rows to go in order to get the same height. Now, why is that? If you could see the texture from the side, it's a little bit hard here. Simply stated, garter stitch is thicker. Therefore, it's going to take more yarn. This is an easier example to see. This is a piece of knitting that is both stockinette and the edge is garter stitch. Can you see that the garter stitch is higher? There, you get a better shadow. So the thickness is what takes up the extra yarn. However, I said it was a qualified yes, right? And there's a reason. This is my baby blanket. It's older than I am, and I will be 67 this year, so it has been around um, a while. I recently took it out of storage and washed it, and um, it does have some holes that are going to need to be fixed, but I will do that because I have a sentimental attachment to it. My mom made it. Um, but you can see that the garter stitch has stretched quite a bit, that in fact... Stockinette stitch does not want to stretch very much in this direction, but garter stitch can stretch a great deal more. And it depends on the size needles you use, the size yarn you use, the fiber that you use. Silk, for example, can really stretch. So if you are making, let's say, a silk tunic and you hang it up and you do it in a garter stitch that isn't very tight, it will, and even if you do it tightly, it might happen, that it will stretch so that you won't need as much yarn as you would need for a tight garter stitch like this. But this idea that a different texture in knitting uses a different amount of yarn doesn't apply only to garter stitch. Cables also take more yarn than stockinette stitch because they are more three-dimensional. They are more textural. Another thing that does is, oops, this is backwards here, is linen stitch. Linen stitch, you're slipping a lot of stitches, so it is compressed in this direction, so you need to do more rows. It, it isn't really twice as much yarn because these do not form these, when you hold the yarn in front of or behind the knitting, these do not take up as much yarn as a full stitch. But nonetheless, it does take more yarn than stockinette. So the answer is yes. Every different combination of knits and purls, of crosses, of slipped stitches, of your way of constructing fabric, takes a different amount of yarn, which is why you need to do a gauge swatch of every pattern stitch you use. Thank you, Ellen, for asking that question. It was a very good one. And if you have a question, go ahead and post it in the comments below. 
I don't answer every question with a video, but if I think it's of enough interest to enough knitters and would be helpful, you might just see me answering your question right here. Until I see you again, enjoy your knitting. That is all I wanted to say at all. Take two. <laughs>